Good afternoon. I'm Simon from one of the founders of SimPower, and we're part of this year's Rockstar Smart Energy Accelerator. Now, back in England, where I'm from, we have a problem with football. You see, at half time, there's nothing we like more than drinking a cup of tea. Now, apart from just being quite weird, this actually causes some big problems for the electricity system. You see, during important uh, football matches, literally millions of people go to their kitchen at half time and turn on the kettle, causing a big spike in electricity uh, demand. In fact, to cope with this, we have to turn on the equivalent of two fossil fuel power plants um, to, to, uh, to, to cope with this increase in demand. Now, this is a specific and rare example of a problem that actually happens almost every day. And in every country, the transmission system operator is responsible for ensuring that the system is ready to cope with such problems. And the way they do this right now is by using big fossil fuel plants, which is an incredibly inefficient way of doing things. In fact, globally, it costs 80 billion euros every year and directly causes 2% of global carbon emissions. And on top of that, it's completely incompatible with an all-renewable future. Now, this is a problem that we've heard quite a lot about in the last few days. For example, this morning uh, from Sun Bessie, and yesterday, Restore, this problem of frequency control. But SimPower approaches the problem differently. You see, all around us, there are things that can already solve this problem in a much cleaner, cheaper, and more efficient way. For example, air conditioning, or electric heating, or even water boilers. SimPower controls appliances such as this, and turns them on and off when there's problems with the electricity system. So for example, everyone goes to the kitchen, turns on the kettle, and we turn off electric heating around the country. Just for a few minutes, so you won't notice anything, but uh, for the system as a whole, it makes a huge difference. Now, when George, my co-founder, uh, and I were um, working out how to turn this idea into reality, we realized that um, more and more households and more and more appliances are becoming smart and becoming connected to the internet. We've seen an explosive growth in smart home solutions like Tado, who we heard from yesterday, and like Nest. And so SimPower is essentially a software platform into which these, these existing smart homes can connect their appliances and earn extra revenue from, their, from the flexibility of these appliances. So how this would work in practice is that um, smart homes like, like Tado and like Nest can connect their appliances into our cloud-based platform uh, using their existing APIs. We pull together these appliances and, on the other side, connect to the transmission system operator. When there's a problem with the grid, like if, um, if everyone turns on the kettles at the same time, we uh, get a signal from the transmission system operator and pass that on to the appliances, turning them down for a few minutes. We earn money from the TSO for this, and we, pass, we share that with the, um, with the smart home suppliers. Now, as we've heard in the last couple of days, there is a huge amount happening in this space. But as far as we're aware, we're the only company that, um, or the only startup that, uh, that offers a platform um, that, in which any smart home uh, appliance can earn extra revenue uh, from its existing and, and new customers. So we actually see quite a lot of people on, uh, on this slide as partners. Um, as we've already discussed, the, in the bottom right-hand corner, the, um, the smart home uh, providers can use our platform. And also, the uh, industrial aggregators like Restore, who we heard from yesterday, can use our platform to diversify their, their assets, which uh, makes uh, sort of every asset they have more valuable. Let me quickly introduce you uh, to the team. Um, so George is the other founder of, um, of SimPower. We met on a Master's in Sustainable Energy at Imperial College London. And George is the technical uh, co-founder. So uh, since, um, since we did the Master's, he worked at uh, Europe's leading research project on uh, household flexibility in uh, ENBW here in, here in Germany. Mikael's our guy in Finland. He's an incredible salesman with, uh, with great experience in both B2B and B2C sales. We have a developer joining our team in the next few weeks uh, with tons of experience. And finally, there's me, Simon, uh, and after the Masters, I worked at an energy services company in London before George persuaded me to quit my job and move from London to Estonia to start SimPower. So finally, just to um, explain where we are and, and where we're going, 
We have a small demonstration project in Estonia with 10 houses, um, and we're now looking to expand that uh, while we're at the Rockstar Accelerator to a larger pilot project. We're already working with a, a multinational energy company and with a number of transmission system operators. And what we're really looking for is uh, a smart home uh, partners to uh, help us in this, in this pilot project. We're also, of course, fundraising. Um, we're looking to uh, raise a seed round towards the end of this year. So if there's any investors who would like to join us in this journey, then please do uh, come and talk to me later. So that was SimPower, one of the startups on this year's Rockstar Smart Energy Accelerator program. Thanks for listening. <laughs>